Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to blur the background after you've cut something out. So first we're going to cut her out. So just come over here and get the selection to brush tool and just brush over what you want to cut out and not be blurred. All right, and if you want, you can click refine. We're not going to be too crazy here with this one because this is just a demonstration, but you can come in and brush over the edges to refine your selection if it missed the spot. And if it goes too far in, click on foreground and then click in the foreground and it will try and figure out what you want selected. But I think it did a pretty good job. So I usually go uh, either new layer or new layer with mask and then apply. That way, if it's got a mask already on there, then if I need to change something, I can just brush on the mask and not have to ruin my selection there. All right. So now I'm going to copy the background here, Control J. And then I'm going to turn that one off. And we're going to go down to the original background. All right, now, oh, and I'm going to turn my selection off. Okay. So, if we just blurred the background, this is what would happen. We'll go to layer, new light filter layer, blur, Gaussian blur. Make sure that's on the original background. And then click preserve alpha to keep the white edges from showing up. And just, I'm going to move it all the way over here to 100, make it really blurry. And then, there you go, click OK. All right, so if you, if you only did that, this is what would happen. We'll turn our selection back on. And you can see around the edges there, there's this halo, glowy kind of halo thing going on. Well, that's because she's blurred. We blurred her with the background. So we're going to fix that. So let's turn that background off. And we're going to turn the copy on that we made. And we're going to come up here to, to the selection that we made. And we're going to... Go to select, select from layer. All right, we want to highlight her again. And then come back, click on, make sure you've got this new background clicked on. And then come up to select and go down here to grow shrink. And then we want to grow it. We want to make sure we've got everything in there as much as possible. And click apply. And then make sure you've got this background you know the copy we made make sure that one is selected and go to edit and in paint oh and since I left this clicked on it's not going to show you so hang on wait till it's done okay so I'll turn the selection off and this is what it did it did a pretty good job actually but it's not perfect but that's okay because we're going to blur it but we needed to get all of her out so now we can come up here to layer, new light filter layer, and we'll go to blur and just Gaussian blur again. Just make sure that's on the new background with the cutout or with her gone. And I'm going to pull that all the way up. And then I'll show you the difference. So originally, this is what it looked like with the halo around it. And then after we cut her out and then blurred it, that's what it looks like. So much better. It gets rid of all of that and it makes her look more, I don't know, like she should be there. So that is what you need to do if you want to cut something out and not have that weird halo going on in the background. So I hope you found something useful in this video. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. And thanks for watching.